Today I have for you another beautiful Baltany, and this one is almost perfect. Now this Baltany is a Mecha Quartz chronograph pilot's watch with military vibes. At least it looks like a pilot chronograph to me. Your mileage may vary. Either way, it takes inspiration from other historic watches, and so it's not exactly an original concept. But then again, when it comes to military watches, it's kind of hard to do an historic design in a new way. One of my favorite examples of a company that is doing that is Fortis. Check them out. But back to the Baltany, we're in a very different price bracket here. This watch comes in around $150. The one that I have here was loaned into the channel by Overby Watches. You can find them on eBay and I'll leave a link in the description and they have it listed at $155 US dollars. The great thing about this company is if you're an American or Canadian, they are based in North America. So you are going to get it more quickly and you may not have to pay any duty. So the Baltany Military Chrono has a Seiko VK67 quartz chronograph movement underneath that sapphire crystal with AR coating. It has a sub dial at the six with a sub seconds hand and a 60 minute chrono on top and a 12 hour chrono on the left. It's 39 millimeters with a dial diameter of 28.5. This one has BGW9 loom on it and it glows really well. And of all the Baltanese that I have, it glows extremely well and it is so much better than my Hamilton. The lug to lug on this is a very wearable 46.3 millimeter. So just about any wrist size is going to be able to wear this watch. It's 12.2 millimeters thick including that sapphire crystal with air coating, which means it's going to wear nicely on your wrist as well in that dimension. It has a screw down crown that of course is 360 now stainless steel, and it has a sterile screw down case back. I know it's sterile, there's nothing written on it. And I know people love their see-through case backs or some funky engraving, but this one doesn't give you that today. But I'm not gonna hold that against it because as I have mentioned, my wrist can't read. What I do like about this watch is that it has 20 millimeter straps, which is great because I have so many 20 millimeter straps. And the weight on this is around 72 grams. There are a couple different colorways available in this, and there's also some strap options. So definitely shop that around and check that out. The main two colorways are black as we have here, and a beautiful blue. The case on this is brushed and it is beautifully finished, very uniform. It's a great look and it's going to resist scuffs and scratches. The date is well centered there at the three o'clock position. And I really like the symmetry with Baltany printed nicely and chronograph below it. I think a standout for me is that red tipped seconds hand as well on the chronograph. And engaging it, you're gonna find that not only does this have a screw down crown, but it also has screw down pushers. And so you'll have to unscrew them to use the chronograph. Now the chronograph has a fantastic click to it to start it to stop it, to reset it, fantastic. To me, the hands look a little thin, but they are nicely polished and everything is fairly legible on this black version. And the strap is quite lovely as well. The buckle is signed with a Baltany. It's a black leather strap, a two stitch strap, pretty simple, pretty era appropriate, and it'll get the job done. But let's be honest, you're definitely going to be throwing this on some other straps that you have laying around. So I said this watch is almost perfect, and it is. In one big way, it does fall a bit short. And for me, this might surprise some of you, but it's that VK64 movement. Because that VK64 movement is not adjustable. And I found that out in my personal Baltany that I bought about a year and a half ago. One very similar to this one here, the more field looking version and the chronograph hand, I reset it one day and it reset to about 58 seconds as opposed to dead on at 12 at zero. And there's no way to adjust it. Now, of course I could have sent it back, but by the time I got my act together to do that, yada, 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 that never took place. So now I just start the chronograph hand for two seconds, stop it, and then leave it that way. It does kind of still sort of slide out 
on its own. This one here is just ever so slightly off center. And I believe that sub dial at nine is also not quite pointing true north. And so that is a bit of a concern for me. You do take a gamble on this, but then again, it does come with a warranty. So let me tell you, if anything happens in the first couple of weeks, make good use of that warranty. Other than that, this is a beautiful watch for $150, fully stainless steel with AR coated sapphire crystal and a really cool movement. I mean, honestly, if you like the look of it and you don't have the money for a vintage piece or for a Swiss brand, then this is definitely the watch for you. But what do you think? Tell me in the comments down below. Is this a watch that you would consider buying? Would you save up for the real deal? Or would you be happy with this VK64 beautiful Baltany that's almost perfect? Big thanks to Overby Watches for lending this one in. I've got one more watch for you, so keep posted. Like and subscribe, and you won't miss out on any other great affordable watch content down below or more videos.